Let's talk about testing a low-pass filter. A couple of videos ago I put together a LC low-pass filter. Here it is here. And now we're going to test it for its frequency response. Now I'm going to do that with my function generator, but if I put my function generator directly across the input on my uh, filter here, half the time I'd be putting a uh, reverse biasing my, my electrolytic capacitor, putting a negative signal on top here. It only takes about a volt and a half to degrade the uh, the cathode uh, oxide layer in this this capacitor, aluminum wound capacitor, and uh, even 0.5 volts will start to degrade it. So um, it could even overheat the capacitor and uh, and wreck it. So we don't want to put any AC on our uh, on our electrolytic capacitor. So what I'm going to do is I I put together a uh, injection transformer. Here it is. Here I took a uh, ferrite core. And I, there's a quarter here to get you size. And I wound it with some, uh, this was some wire out of a Cat5 uh, phone cable. I wound that around there. And I tied the, uh, you can't see that. Basically, it's, uh, it's hooked up like this, just normal transformer. And I'm going to put my AC signal into here. And then I'm going to run a DC signal through the, through the transformer here. And it's going to, the AC is going to ride on top of my, my DC. This will stay positive all the time, but it will fluctuate up and down. So we'll maintain our positive voltage here while putting a AC signal into our uh, into our filter here. And we'll see what comes out the, uh, the other side. We're going to go to the uh, scope now and, and uh, see what happens. Here we are at the oscilloscope. The top trace is the output of the filter and the bottom trace is the input. We're at 100 hertz. That's 200. 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, and uh, 1,000. There is a little bit of ripple on the uh, on the output, but uh, not too much. I think it's going to work fine for my application, and uh, that's the uh, testing the filter. So thank you.